Well, being in the Knights of Columbus, I think, has really strengthened my faith because as you walk around work, you walk around town, you always wonder, am I the only one who thinks these things about Catholicism or about religion? And uh, when you go to the Knights of Columbus, you see that, hey, there are other regular guys who come from different walks of life who have the same, th who think the same way you do about their faith, and so it's okay. They do a lot of good for other people and go out of their way not to brag about it. They do a lot of clandestine acts of charity. I think a lot of people are involved is because they get in touch with their own Catholicism and that they are able to help people and get that positive feedback right then and there when it happens and to see that they are making a difference in others' lives through their charity. Well, our, our four cardinal principles of the Knights of Columbus are charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism. And I think young people uh, today really want to be of service, want to be involved, and even with our church. I think if, if they can participate and be involved, I, I think that um, that's an attraction. There's many programs that are a local, a state, and what we have a national level. One of them that would be Habitat for Humanity, a lot of people are aware of. We also have Coats for Kids, so that youth that are underprivileged that can't afford to stay warm in the winter, the Knights get involved either directly to the children or within shelters. The Knights pledged $2 million to replace all the limbs of children in Haiti who lost them during that earthquake. And not only did they um, supply them with those prosthetics, they, they uh, sent people there to fit them, to teach them how to use them, and to uh, replace them when they grew out of them. Very often with the Knights beside me, or me beside the Knights, um, connecting with a family that's hurting uh, because they have no food, because they've lost a child, uh, because uh, dad is out of work, uh, because there's hospital bills that uh, are into the millions and the family's just struggling to eat. One example we did is we made sandwiches for Sister Helen Cole's uh, summer camp, which is peanut butter and jelly and snacks and that kind of thing. And it went on for about five weeks. So five different councils participated in that and they really got a lot of enjoyment out of, you know, it was only a few hours of work, but it really uh, helped out the kids in the summer camp. Even if someone is not that... Uh attentive to the church at a certain point in their life. Uh, joining the Knights of Columbus and witnessing other men participate in the church and being loyal to it and showing respect uh, uh, for our priests is contagious. When people serve, especially with the motive of love, they get turned on to meanings of life that go deeper than they ever imagined. And you get to see uh, God's hand involved in people's lives and he becomes in your, more in your life and that's, you know, as a Knight of Columbus I've become a better father, I've become a better husband uh, and a better Catholic all the way around. Anyone who wants to get involved in charity and justice through the community, I would say find out an organization that does the things that you like and has and, and the time that you can give. For example, whether it's Knights of Columbus or Good Council Homes or Catholic Charities, there's something out there for you that has your passion. Great things can be accomplished by numbers. And if you get a group of people together, uh, the larger, the better, uh, the more participation and uh, the more successful an event would be. Knights at Columbus, by their very nature, rooted in their faith in Christ, are an organization that want to try to put their finger more so on the pulse of those needs and respond. And if I can't, because I don't have the ability, I know somebody who can, and I'll take him with me, and we'll walk into that house. We'll get that doctor. We'll get that dentist. We'll get that nurse, whatever. That's what community's about. That none of us has it all together, as a priest said years ago, but together we have it all. That's what community's about.